uh, high school orchestra director. It's really nice to see so many people here for this evening's concert, uh, Vivaldi's Ring of Mystery. So I hope you enjoy just a few, uh, just a few words because this whole program in its entirety, it, it goes without, without a pause. It's one, one long story. So uh, I just wanted to acknowledge a few people before we begin and uh, also direct your uh, attention to the program. So first and foremost, I have to give a huge thanks to the East Brunswick Education Foundation um, through a generous grant by that foundation, uh, we were able to, uh, to pr uh, purchase the production rights uh, for, this, for this entire presentation. This is the type of uh, pr uh, production that's usually put on by professional orchestras around, around the country, around the world. Uh, and we're so fortunate uh, to them to support us and uh, give us the opportunity to present the East Brunswick community uh, with the free performance of, of this uh, presentation. So first and foremost, a big thank you to the East Brunswick to the program. We've got you know, a lot of different things going on with the, uh, with the orchestras. If this is your first high school orchestra concert, welcome. I've tried my best to get the word out to the community. So hopefully there's some people here for the first time. Um, and this uh, is a product of the East Brunswick School System. We have amazing teachers here, an amazing art program, an amazing string program here. There's about 160 students here on stage. We start in fourth grade. Uh, they work extremely hard. And uh, we actually had the opportunity uh, to uh, accept an invitation to perform at Carnegie Hall. Uh, and uh, I can't wait. Uh, it's, it's just one of these opportunities that came up. Uh, we are going to perform there Saturday, March 18th. So there's a, there is a QR code that I put in the program, so I know there's probably parents here uh, trying to get information. So tickets and information are, there's a website and also a QR code if you point your, your camera at that QR code, hopefully it'll take you to a website, give you a little bit more information. Uh, parents, I try to put some stuff in Canvas, and as everything gets confirmed, you'll get more and more information, but uh, it'd be great to see some representation from from East Brunswick over uh, in Midtown Manhattan at Carnegie Hall. So it's something we're all really looking forward to, uh, to performing and doing. So thanks to uh, everyone for your support. Again, this doesn't happen without the support of the community, uh, Board of Education, and our stream faculty here in East Brunswick. So thanks a lot to everyone. Thank you. And lastly, uh, just a, a few, few thank yous as well before we even begin. Uh, first and for, uh, foremost, uh, John McBenamin, Zach Gates, uh, the, the Jam Hack staff, they do so much to help us put on these concerts, so big thank you to them. Um, my supervisor, or our art supervisor, Ms. Michelle DeGrosa, and also our administration at the high school, they support us in everything that we do. Uh, we cannot thank them enough. And in addition to our administration in our own building, our upper administration, uh, superintendent's office, the board of education, uh, all of this does not happen without everyone's support. So big thank you to all of them. Thank you. That's it for my speech. Uh, without any further ado, I present Vivaldi's Ring of Mystery.
Marie, a man in black. At midnight break, a lost child man. I don't know anyone here, but 
least I have my violin. Well, now you know me. Here we are, the school of the Pieta. Oh, Giovanni, it looks more like a prison than a school. I'm scared. Go ahead. The door is open. Don't be afraid. If you need me, I'm always on the water. Just call my name. Thank you. Well, I guess I'm on my own now. Hello? Where is everyone? All of the rooms are empty. That sound, it's an orchestra. And they're all girls. Even the drums. But you, 
Katerina, what do you play? Your instrument, the violin. Don't tell any of the players, but I think the violin is the queen of the orchestra. Or the devil. It's so hard, Don Antonio. Yes, but from a few bits of wood and glue and some hairs from the horse's tail, you can create the most sublime music in the world. I can? Yes. Now, uh, let's hear you play, Katerina, the violin. In front of everyone. Don't worry. Everyone in Antonio Vivaldi's orchestra is a virtuoso. That's why I've had to write 500 concerti. <laughs> uh, take a look at these. Uh, do you know any of them? Uh, I wrote them all for my girls. Oh, I, I know this one. Excellent. Uh, girls, uh, please say that my A minor concerto strings only. Uh, Katerina will be our soloist. <laughs> Thank you, Rosa. <clears throat> we'll practice that trumpet concerto later. Now. The last time you played this movement, you all sounded like a herd of elephants. You have to be light and agile, like sunbeams sparkling across the waters of the canal. Ready? <laughs> Yes, Katharina. It is weeping. 
for the lost child. Every year, the Duke travels to another city on his search for the missing grandchild. This year he has come to Venice in his ship with the sad black sails. When the clock strikes midnight on the last night of Carnival, we will all unmask, and the finest violinist will have the honor of playing this noble instrument. And perhaps, just perhaps, it will call back the missing child. for church. And come along, girls. I think there may be whipped cream on our desserts. <laughs> oh, Katerina, please, uh, join us as soon as you're settled in the dormitory. I'll save some dessert for you.
we've got to find that violin repair shop. Yes, uh, I think it's near that tower. Uh, this way. We found the shop under the bell tower. The violin maker was an odd little man, but his face lit up when he saw the violin. A Stradivarius in his workshop. delicate flowers and shook his head sadly. When he saw how upset we were, he promised to repair the violin that day. He left the violin there and returned to the school. The violin, the unfinished poem, the nightingale, what does it all mean?
certainly be called my concerto for too many instruments. <laughs> Ooh, I'd better write that down. All day, we rehearsed and rehearsed for the concert. I waited for Giovanni to come back with the violin, but he didn't come. Sooner than I could believe it, it was time for bed. The girls sang their evening prayers, their voices rising clear and confident in the twilight. Soon, silence settled with the night. I couldn't sleep. I kept thinking about the Duke and his family in that terrible storm. Tears ran down my cheeks. I wondered if the Duke was as alone as I am. One other girl was awake. She sat in the open window and played her violin. A beautiful, sad woman that seemed to float on the moonlight. I looked out over the waters of the tower of the city, silhouetted against the starry sky. Venice seemed to rock gently, like a mother cradling her child. For a moment, all was serene and peaceful. It's too dark. I, I don't see him anymore. Me either. 
Where are we? See those candles flickering in the wind? That is the island of the dead. Look at all of the lilies. They're growing everywhere along the shore. Yes, the flowers of death. Does anybody live here? Not if they're still alive. These old tombs are falling apart. Inside, the bones float up and down with the tides. That's creepy. <coughs> what was that? A raven! They say the spirits of bad little girls come here as ravens when they die. Giovanni, stop it. So, where is this tomb of the Nightingale carved out? It's nearby. Uh,
and I'm going to ruin it all because I lost the new spot in. And where have you been? San Antonio. I didn't see you there in the shadows. I'm sorry. I sneaked out. I, I wanted to see the lights of the canal. With Giovanni? Ah, well, he's a good boy. But you must never leave the school like that again, Katerina. I'm sorry, Don Antonio. I, 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 I... Katerina, what's the matter? You can tell me about it. No, I, I can't. I, I messed up everything, and I just I feel so stupid and alone. And Don Antonio, I failed you. You haven't failed anyone, Katerina. First person to feel alone. Let me share a secret with you. When I was a boy, I used to love the sound of the choir singing. I wanted to help people, to, to teach, to feed the poor. I became a priest. It was heaven. And then something terrible happened. What was it? I became very sick. I couldn't breathe. My, my mother said it was because I was born on the day of an earthquake. I couldn't do my work. Sometimes I had to leave the church in the middle of a service. I, I felt so alone, so unhappy. Then one day, I was lying on my bed with all the shutters closed, and then I heard it. A simple, happy song. <laughs>
want to hear the violin. Don Antonio will go to get the violin. And he'll discover that it's gone. Calm down. Katerina. Uh, we'll think of an excuse to explain the missing violin.
will take our music, its spirit and soul, out into the world. Farewell, my little princess. Farewell, Don Antonio Romano. From this joyous sight, as Vivaldi's music bids you all good night. So please give him a round of applause. And because they have practice, 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 I guess we hope to see you in Carnegie Hall. Have a good night. Thank you for coming. 